Alright, yeah. right, guys, so we are back for our sixth session. I think, yes. Yes. Of uh, Skulls and Shackles. So essentially, what we saw last time was the boarding of the Man's Promise, the ship that they came up on. Sixth That's session. what it's called, the Man's think, Promise? Yes. Yeah, the Man's yes. Promise. Of uh, Skulls cool. and Shackles. I like it. The cake is a lie. <laughs> All right, so they essentially they've just taken over the ship. Um, at this point, everyone is actually lined up from the captives that they've taken thus far, lined up against the back wall over here. Of the first ship or the second? And I'm going to draw a line. Those are people. Yes, because I don't Same. feel like making tokens for everybody. But everybody's lined up here. Hmm. And then, at this point, the captain actually comes out addressing all the people that are standing there. He goes, we have two options. You either go overboard or you join our crew. What say ye? And, and he actually, everyone's going to call them volunteers. <laughs> and he, he first comes up to this young gentleman, or older gentleman. Dude, I'm trying to get a picture. I mean, he's kind of he's in his. Uh. And he's kind of in his middle ages of life right now. You can tell that he's weathered the seas quite a bit. He stands six foot tall, nice slender figure to him. He's got two cutlass or two what look like cutlasses around his waist. It I'm imagining looks... the sword's like literally bent around his waist like a belt right now. Yeah. So he kind of, he looks at us. So what do you have to offer my crew? I can offer you both my weapons. And riches, perhaps. As you see, I have plenty of weapons. What else can you offer me? Another body is good, sir. I have experience in the seas of travel, and uh, I can provide you with such knowledge. I am twice as many men that you have. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> you, you, you do entertain me, sir. I know far more about the seas than you could possibly. Then very well, I would be under your command. But, I mean, what can you do for my ship? Why should I keep you aboard? I have owned a ship, several actually. All of my crew members have died. I am simply a smuggler. <laughs> you are a bad captain, sir. A plus. <laughs> I was ne I was never a captain. I was simply a member. I go from ship to ship, merely f doing it for the job. I've survived more fights than any man has seen. Although I am not okay, strong. Okay, hold on. You're saying but... that that every ship you've been on, everyone has died from said ship. That gives me the inkling that I should throw you overboard now. Yeah, I'm like you're not exactly <laughs> solid in your case here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I mean to have said is that every ship that I've been in has been involved in dangerous operations, smuggling, illegal arms trade, such sorts. I am very, very expertise in my uh, field, sir. Hmm, I bet I could keep someone like that aboard. Very well. You may join the crew. As you wish. All right, so he kind of goes down through the line just questioning everybody. I mean, not everybody says yes. You actually see there's probably 10 sailors lined up across here that you did not were not able to kill or capture. Um, eight of them say yes. The other two, one is actually beheaded at where he stood because he insulted the captain. A plus life <laughs> decisions. Uh, Good the, job, guy. The other one. Before the captain even got to him, after seeing his friend being beheaded beside him, he jumped off the boat Into and was promptly ate by the sharks. Nom nom nom. Nom <laughs> nom nom sharks. And it's a nice dessert after their main course of battle. And after this point, the kind of the festival breaks out and everybody's kind of celebrating the win, and the captain kind of slams his foot to the ground to the top of the boat. And he says, all right, scavy tars, you've done a right good job by me. The heck is a scavy tar? I have no idea. 
<laughs> oh, you, like we have a second ship now, and she's a, quite a prize from the looks of her. But I still have only one crew. So here's the plan. The Wormwood will sail to our destination, to our planned destination with our new shipmates. Minus Jake, because I don't need him aboard my ship. Or minus James, I don't need him aboard my ship. He'll be more useful here. Well, this, yep. well, in the the new ones will go with me. Master Plug and Scourge. You'll be picking a skeleton crew from the rest of the Man's Promise and are to make it to Port, Pel Port Peril where she'll be pretty pennies as a salvage ship. As for these fine fellers here, he actually gestures to the remaining of the crew. Some of them will no doubt be worth a, ref a hefty ransom for their families back in Azar, and the rest... It's a life of pirates, not for them. They can spend the rest of their life at sea. That's how he's actually addressing the eight other members that he just took aboard his ship. So you guys just kind of still party throughout the night. During the selection process, you actually learned that pretty much the captain is the only one that's not coming aboard this ship with you. The captain and all the new crew members that he just acquired. Okay, along so like with everyone the, else. Yeah, along with along with everyone else that's not pictured here, it stays with the captain. Okay, so like miscellaneous crew that does stuff like fish guts and stuff. No, fish guts is here. He's crew. Oh, I I, I can't. I don't know who anyone is to be honest. I'm just like yeah, yeah. that's a bunch of people. That sure is a bunch of people. <laughs> all right, so pretty much who comes aboard with you? You got. Grok, the quartermaster, Rosie, mm -hmm. Sandra, the cook's mate, or the chef, because you have to have a chef. Um, Double chef, apparently. Albert. <laughs> Albert. Albert! He is, he is loyal to Plug, as so everyone thinks. Oh, no, no. Of... We gotta tell him that Jake died. Oh, God. Oh, no! <laughs> At least Arson didn't. Oh yeah. No, no imagine if Arson did part. die. And then, then yeah. we have Cog and we have um Phipps. No, Phipps isn't aboard this ship. Phipps stayed with the other ship. Um the you only other like... person outside of the friends that you had were Cog and uh Stoneheart. Who's Stoneheart? I can't remember his name, hold on a second. Oh. Was it the male gnome? That yes, it's the gnome. An asshole? Okay. Yes, the one that Rosie hates. That one that everyone hates. <laughs> yeah. And we then... just not even use his name anymore. He's that gnome <laughs> everyone hates. <laughs> Alright, and then, of course, Corinne perished right. during the battle. Mm -hmm. So about this time, you guys kind of wind down through the night, just partying and celebrating. And at, at, during that time, you're actually you're looking around the ship itself. So you kind of get your lay of the land. Actually, move over to the ship. Because you actually break sail with, from the captain and are making your own way across now at this point. Cool. Now we have a better chance of mutiny. <laughs> Let me make this ship a little bigger. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody shifts into the water. <laughs> Sharks! <laughs> Phase shift. You run into a portal. Everybody slides five feet that way. All right, now everybody will actually fit aboard the ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Cog was the good guy. He was the one that tried oh. to shoot the gun. Yeah, but then he was a jerk later. Yeah, yeah true. True. I'm pretty sure I he's on our hit was... list right now. I thought he was on our mm -mm. help for the mutiny, and then we kill him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so pretty much the, the man's promise It's 30 feet Actually, it's 105 feet long 30 feet wide uh, Just the skeleton crew that you guys have with you Is not enough to actually run the ship at full capacity Okay, so we're just so going to pretty much get somewhere Yeah, everything that you're going to be doing You're going to be doing double duty work Oh, fun! More XP for us um, Maybe all right, and then as everybody's getting aboard and moving all their belongings over, you actually, you notice Scourge, he's always been a dick to everybody. 
He just well, hates no. everyone. We need this. Is Scourge, yeah, Scourge is on the second boat, so is Master Plug, right? Yeah, they're on the boat with you. They're actually ones, the one running this boat. Now they're captains. Yes, he leaves them Are they co-captains, or who's in charge? No, in charge? Master Plug is the actual captain. Okay, and then and what's his face? Is first Scourge is his first mate. Okay. But, I mean, as you're aboarding the ship, you're noticing Master Plug, he wasn't really angry towards you guys from the beginning, not like Scourge. But you've noticed that his attitude has significantly gotten worse since you've heard him over talking over with Scourge, and just kind of notice that his disposition from you has turned to what Master Scourge was actually treating you like before. Somebody's been talking shit. <laughs> Is Scourge nicer? No, they're both. No. They're both. Uh, Aw, everyone hates us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They both hate you now equally. <laughs> Wait, why? They don't discriminate. They hate everyone equally. Yeah. Oh. So you guys kind of finish out the, the one day from all the fighting. You finish moving everything over. Um, and just kind of finish throughout the night. You go to sleep. And then in the morning you hear the familiar hum of the bell waking you up for your first days of work aboard your new ship. Oh. I, I smell skill checks. <laughs> Ah, I love the smell of fresh skill checks in the morning. Or at almost 11 at night. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, about this, Tom, instead of the random Mr. Scourge coming down to wake everyone up, this time it's Plug. Oh, um, God. And he, he comes down and he goes, Didn't you hear the bell? Why aren't you on my deck? Wait a minute. Shouldn't he be in, like... Med bay or something? Because didn't oh. Jake cut off his arm? Didn't he get a healing potion? Yeah, he got a yeah, healing but, potion. Yeah, but his arm was completely, like, dismembered, wasn't it? No, you just cut his arm. You didn't take it off. Ah, oh, dang, it was so close. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, um, you got, pretty much you got a shoulder wound on him and he's healed from it. <laughs> that's what healing potions are for. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what traitors are for. <laughs> Freaking right. So he, he comes down, he says, why aren't you aboard my deck yet? It just rang. We're still getting dressed. Well, you should have been dressed before it rang. And he actually pulls out his cat of nine tails and starts swinging it around. He goes, we had whips before. Those whips are nothing other, are a thing of the past now. Any outburst would be dealt with by me personally. Oh, he doesn't have the captain to keep him in check anymore. Shoot! Oh, oh, damn. Yes. Good thing is most of the people on the new ship are on our side. We could right. actually possibly mutiny right now. No, I have uh, to. We have Plug, Scourge, and Shortbone, or Shorebone, or whatever his name is. Who knows so what no. side he'll end up on anyway. And then, of course, you have from other random pirates that you don't even know. Yeah. But still, we have a, we have a somewhat balanced party. Barefoot, okay. Toppin, Mr. Tips, and they aren't on our ship, are they? No. They're on the first one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All the, Double checking. Yeah, all the people that you actually know were not aboard this ship, other than the ones that you see here. Okay. Be helpful if they were labeled. Okay. They are. They're not visible labeled. No, you have to go check not. that they are. It's. It says show name plate. No, but then you have to show the name. Make change the uh, menu all the way to the right. And then it'll say uh, who can see the name plates, and you have to set it to everyone. Oh. I see my oh. name plate, but I don't see any. Yeah. Else's. Yeah. Because it, all... it default is Seriously. only people who can control it. That is yeah. retarded. Yeah. Like, they're all named. <laughs> That's why we have no clue who anyone is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hence our confusion. Hence our eternal confusion. <laughs> I'm currently fixing this problem. I see. I'm thankful. I'm sure everyone who's watching is also thankful. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they can see it. Because they can see it on my screen. Oh, right! Okay, right. well, at least they won't have to endure 20 questions. Your viewership is important to us. Please hold. <laughs> well, we correct it so that everybody can see what you already see. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, today at work, um, I mean, I, I, like, our playlist just changed, and so we started listening to music, and I swear we were on hold. <laughs> like, the music was straight out of, like, a dentist's office. It was really horrible. 
Okay, so is everybody can see everybody's names now? Yes. 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 Okay. Wow, this makes. Owl Does that say owl bear? Yes. I thought his name was A L B E R T. Nope. No, owl bear. Like owl. Bear. owl. Wait. An actual is an... owl bear. Yes. Okay. Wait, is that his sure. name or is it an actual Rufus... owl bear? No, that's his name. <laughs> that's his name. He's named okay. Owl bear because he's as strong as an owl bear. Oh, I thought it was like owl, with like an A. Yeah, I thought it was owl. Oh my <laughs> god! Had I known that, I would have been so afraid of him because in a. <laughs> Because there's an actual thing called Owlbear, and it's like a ferocious I know. minotaur. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate those things. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jake is dead. Go on. Anyway. Continue. All right, so what do you guys do when he tells you this? Go on deck. <laughs> I'm yes. probably going to get up on deck. Yes. yes. Pull, my Pull my pants on as I'm running up the stairs. <laughs> I'm putting my shirt on as I go up the stairs. <laughs> All right, so Just shaking a leg into the pants, hopping up the stairs. All right, so everybody pretty much putting on the, a hat. <laughs> everyone has the same jobs as they did before. Oh, I can't we roll again. <laughs> I don't want to be a swab anymore. <laughs> All right, so you guys do something else too, <laughs> or clean yes. everything. Vampire in the Watchtower. <laughs> Yes. It continues. This is probably That's a bad really idea, nice. but no one seems to have realized this yet. <laughs> Does like no one know he's a vamp he's half vampire? No, they, no, they just think you got scurvy. Really You're just a little pale from scurvy. That's it. Yeah, I, I'm just like really <laughs> weirdly pale all the time and kind of like creepy looking. But I mean, there's nothing really weird about him. No, <laughs> well, they he just looks like all the people. other pirates. Okay. Well, they haven't said anything about my blue skin, so... <laughs> That's true. They haven't said anything really about the reptile either, so... <laughs> right. so you mention as, it once, but that's it. As far as the actual jobs, let's see. We've got the swabs. Will be... He comes over to... At this point, it would be James and Callisto. Yes, he goes, we left this ship in an awful mess. There's ropes everywhere. Get to tying them and getting them put up. And then he actually looks over at Arson. He goes, hmm, the rigor. What work do we have for you today? He just kind of gave this disgusted look at you. He's like, I wish I could have you do something else, but this is what you're trained for. Get up there and start working those lines. Okay. And then, Anza, you actually, you come into the kitchen, which is back here. And you've got Croup in there with you. And you can tell he took his fair share of drinks last night. And he's actually demanded a um, Captain Plug has demanded a Special dinner for the night. Celebrate that he can boss us all around. Yes. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Can a special dinner be poison? <laughs> if, one, if you have poison on you, yes. And, <laughs> or if you could make poison from something that you can find. Can't you just, like, leave some food out and do something weird to the food? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a, it's pretty easy to poison someone if you know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so I need for the swabs either a profession sailor check or a strength check. For Zeriger is sailor or dexterity. Okay. And cook's mate, we need cook or survival check. Oh, yeah! can see that you work those lines. Yeah. I'm the best rigger today. You said profession or what else? Profession, sailor, or strength check. Okay. Considering my strength is a two, I'm going to go with profession. Mm, if only I was Jake. Oh. <laughs> hey. He's not, He's not bad. bad. James isn't bad. <laughs> Starting off on the right foot. Good job. Good job. Mm. Anza. Wait, how, <coughs> how did you? One second. 
How did you guys figure out it was James? Oh, your characters, I guess. Yeah, captain. But yeah, you captain introduce yourself to the captain. Yeah. Oh, oh, right, right. Duh. All right. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, the swabs, you guys are able to actually pretty much get every single one of the ropes around the boat just kind of straightened up and put over to where Arson is. And as you notice, Arson's actually fastening new riggings for the ropes and pretty much turning this boat into a brand new boat again as far as the lines go that she's working. Um, Anza, you're able to... You actually snuck some of the crab that you were able to take over to the new ship for us so that we have the specific crab dinner for Master Plug. I mean, about that time, Plug and Scourge walk in and... It's about midday right now, and you've you finished most of the cooking for his feast for him. Um, he kind of he you can't he sees that you're there cooking, but he's not really paying attention to what you're actually doing. Um, and let me grab my notes real quick. Yep, and you kind of overhear them that uh, slither uh, the is so far away he's talking to scourge at this point it's like don't we have something else we could do with this ship do we really have to take it back there like yeah those were the can then scourge butts in those were the captain's orders we got to do what he says but he's and then plugs like well but is he here because like it doesn't matter if he's here or not we've got to do it either way so he's like i will tell you what we do as for now, we're going to do what the captain says. That may change, though. Hmm. <laughs> Taylor's face! <laughs> right. Alright, so, I mean, you kind of overhear that, then you finish your cooking for the day, and go about your business. Alright, so it's about mid-afternoon at this point. You kind of finished up with your tasks for the day so what do we do at this point <clears throat> introduce myself to the new crew members so james is the only new crew member no, we yeah are. everyone else is brought over yeah everybody else is brought over from the other ship i go right hey. up to jake hi i'm Callisto. how are you i just stare at her like what are you doing and I'm just beaming, like, hi! Who is this crazy lady? Uh, James is just like... He doesn't say anything. James doesn't say anything. He just stares at you. <laughs> she stares back with a smile on her face. Uh, <laughs> a staring contest has begun. <laughs> and James is like, if, uh, if you do not mind, I have work to do. Thank you. And he just walks away. Custom mutters under her breath, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And she gets like a sullen look on her face, like, How dare he not like me? I'm friendly and cute. Damn it. I'm adorable. <laughs> I'm ador yes. I'm adorable, damn it. <laughs> okay, I, I wander around the ship since I know everybody. Right. Wait. No, did that back. Never mind. <laughs> and somebody else doing anything? Um. I'm just kind of strolling through the day through the new I took that back. I'm going to go back to Callisto. Or at this point, I guess I don't know her name. I'm going to go back to her and ask her a question. Okay. okay. Um, I apologize for my attitude earlier. It's not that easy to... Uh, make friends with another opposing ship when you've just slaughtered my fellow crewmates. I hope you That's can understand That's a good that. point, actually. Understandable, but just know that not all of us are here by by their own will. Mm. Just make and do. I understand. None of them were really friends of mine, just acquaintances, so I have nothing against you either. Say, where are you coming from? Where is your ship coming from? Uh, we were picked up in Port Peril. That was the last land I remember. Port Peril. 
Peril. We, our ship was headed that way. I am actually in search of a man. Oh, no. A younger fellow. Do you know, perhaps, at Port Peril, a man named Jake? Jake Jones. Oh. Da da da! <laughs> yes, he was captured with us. He was actually killed in the battle here. He tried to... She looks around her, over her shoulders like, Is anybody listening? Anybody listening? And whispers, He tried to overturn Pug and got <laughs> killed. Excellent. Where is he? We just said he died! <laughs> he oh, he died. did. Oh. <laughs> she kind of blinks. He I, died. Uh, <laughs> I do not understand. We just went over this. <laughs> is he an alcoholic now? What? He's dead. His... He, 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 Captain ripped out his heart and showed it to us. He's dead, dead. You mean the very same man with the dual wielding cutlass on board this ship that slaughtered about two men on the ship and then went downstairs yeah, with I the heard. other men? Yes. That was him? Yeah. He left on the other ship, yes. That, that was the guy that came out with the heart. We only or, learned second hand that he attacked uh, Master Plug. Why did he attack the captain? Oh, Master the... Plug isn't the captain. Oh, not the well, captain. he's the captain why... of this ship, though, so I guess. No, but why did Jake attack the, uh, the your men or your authority figures? You are really new around here. They're not That's fun. Good. <laughs> Master Plug is not very fond of our group, which James was a part of. You mean Jake? Yes, Jake. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to me, Jay names. And so he didn't like this man and he fought back. Yes. Foolish boy. Oh. If he had told us his plan, we may have been able to help him. Considering how many criticals he got, we probably would have been able to help him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the dice were kind. But that's player knowledge. <laughs> Very well. I assume you have many questions for me. You may go ahead and ask. How'd you get your hair so fluffy? What? <laughs> <laughs> I love the last snow. I... Your hair is so fluffy. The... the the wind, my hair, it makes it so flat. I don't have time for this. And then James, <laughs> James just, just looks away and just walks. Or turns Clisto, around and walks away. This still goes back to uh, Anza and Arson. Be like, new guy is James's, uh, Jake's friend. He's kind of weird, though. I have to agree mm -hmm. there. What's, what's his problem? I don't know. All right, guys. So probably about, have to keep an eye on him. About two hours have passed at this oh. point, and you can kind of see that the the sun is going down, and the the wormwood, which was in visible sight pretty much all day, is kind of pretty much out of sight at this point. So go ahead and everyone roll a Constitution check for me. All right, so everybody's just kind of not really fatigued from the day, even though they had the nice battle before. Um, so you know, as, you, as night falls down, you kind of notice that, kind of looking around, that there's there's no rum. There's there's but food at all. There's food. But why is the the... Yeah, there's food, but there's no rum, from what you can tell. But why oh, is God. the rum gone? Who brought that joke from the other you campaign? You stole my line. <laughs> I, I, I figured no one had heard you, so I was like, this is my chance. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Poor Grook. Poor Grook. She's going to be so forlorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, about this time, Plug, or, uh, Plug walks out and goes, Yeah, yeah Fish Guts, too. What, what, why do you guys look so at dismay? This is my ship now. There'll be no lollygagging around here. You eat your food, and then you get below deck. 
At night, there's no one up here. There is no entertaining. You eat, you sleep, you shit. That's it. Wow. Um, okay. Mm. I don't like him. <laughs> you <have> me! <laughs> Is our uh, answer to everything. Uh, so he, he orders everybody back uh, down below deck at this point. Can we talk amongst, our, amongst ourselves? Yeah, as long as you're below deck. I mean, just you can't... It's just pretty much saying that nothing is going on above deck without his knowledge. And when you guys are actually quartered at is in the bottom deck here. You kind of got kind of beds thrown throughout the place, and ah, uh, yes. I'm guessing that, like around here, there's a big blood stain. Yes. <laughs> yeah, where Jake used to be. <laughs> Trash boxes. Blood yeah, stain. I think Trash they cleaned stain. that up today, though. So it was probably the swab's jabs. I want you guys to know I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> you did it really be. good. <laughs> You did good, even though you died. Mm. All right. So, I mean, the the night kind of passes on. I mean, do you guys like do gambling or want to do anything below deck that you'd be able to? I want to gamble. We should talk to uh, Fish Guts and Cement our his support. Look like at mm. I thought there was some guy named Cement, and I'm like, I really can't keep track of names. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stew in mild annoyance, Taylor. <laughs> I'm gonna perform for everybody just like a low song not too loud <laughs> alright go ahead and roll the performance check Let's see if you can be quiet okay and this is kind of a new ship and you're not really used to how the acoustic are in this ship and oh, no. you were not quite aware that you're pretty much where you guys are stationed at and living at the moment is directly below Master Plug quarters. Oh! oh me. <laughs> and you hear this loud thumping and it's like somebody's being killed up above. And you see Master Plug actually, Sorry, dude. <laughs> actually come out and pop into the bottom area. Like, did I not make myself clear? Not really. That wasn't in character, by the way. That wasn't in character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, who was playing that music? Stop pointing fingers. <laughs> I stay quiet and kind of creep into the shadows. <laughs> about, that, about that Tom Cog actually grabs you. And tosses you in front of Plug is it was this filthy swag. I, I, filthy I, swag. <laughs> uh, hashtag swag. It was anyway. just a lullaby to put put the crew to sleep. The, this crew can sleep on their own. He actually pulls out his cat of nine tails. Really? And hits you right across the face with it. Ugh. This is just a warning. Don't let everything's hear it just again. a warning. <laughs> Is he not taking any penalties? Like any like? Does he not have a scar? I was hoping <laughs> yes, my he has scars. scars. <laughs> yes, you were Good. able to harm him enough to give him scars. Now he just looks cooler. <laughs> yes. Dang it. <laughs> it gave him more battle. Yeah, but I could be like scars. See right. red. So kind of Cog makes his way over to to plug, and you actually everybody do a perception check for me. <laughs> well, oh, I yeah. don't think I saw anything. All I heard was good God. <laughs> I rolled a 23. <laughs> so at least someone noticed something, maybe. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So everybody but Callisto is able to hear something. <laughs> Wait, what? Nobody I except Callisto? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. No, Callisto's only way able to over to hear anything. Oh. And you just, you kind of hear them mentioning... That they're going to meet later tonight. 
And that's really that's about all you can actually overhear there that there's something actually going on at this point. And then you see Master Plug disappear back upstairs. this real quick all right so master plug disappears back upstairs cog kind of lays over here and you can tell that he's kind of just sitting there biding his time like he's trying to go to sleep about th about after this time about two hours have passed it's about 11 12 o'clock at night or so do you guys do anything specific or do you want to still still go back to gamble i would have I would have whispered to uh, Anza and Arson that Cog was going to meet. Someone. Captain. Okay. Yeah, the new captain. But she's just like nursing her face and she's sulking and she's inconsolable. Oh. <laughs> okay. Poor baby. She's like singing in a watery language under her breath and holding her face. She's sad. She's having a bout of melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do does anybody else do anything, or uh, I'm gonna kinda... do some uh, DM fan service and go gamble. All right. Uh, yeah, I was. I was. I mentioned that I was gambling before. Okay. So you so. and you and Arson are gambling. Are you trying to do it around Cog, or are you trying to be? Yeah, I, I think maybe vaguely around that area. Okay. So what exactly are you gambling? What are you doing? Hmm. Good question. Wait, who who are we gambling with? Cog? No, it's you two. Oh, oh, two. Uh, we are gambling <laughs> oh. with each other. Okay. Uh, okay. That's this fun. <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't have anything on me though. Well, um. that's your problem, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, well, what do you have? Out of character. I have a lot of stuff. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> I am looking there, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor is consoling. <laughs> consoling Callisto in her native tongue. <laughs> yeah, she's um, singing in a call. A call. Aquan? I don't know. Yeah, wait, Aquan. Um, do we still yeah. share the gold? Even with the new guy? Or no. have you guys not decided that yet? The new guy yeah. does not get anything. He didn't do okay. a thing. Okay. New guy had all his possessions taken from him except his armor and weapons to make himself defendable. Mm. I don't want to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> You're like. <laughs> Alright, so you kind of you gamble with Grok, and you can tell that he snuck some L over. I guess uh, my quartermaster days, my my precious L's, my my rum. Why am I aboard this ship? Why do I like you all so much? Why do I have to be here? Oh, sympathy. Why do you like us? <laughs> and you can kind of tell that he, he's not exactly sure of himself anymore with you guys. And just kind of... At this point, he's kind of unconsolable. Because he can't have more grog than what he has. So I pat him on the shoulder. Yeah, she. She. I pat her on the shoulder. She had to she. So two of the crew are inconsolable. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about time that we have like a yes. heart to heart with everyone and just like talk about our feelings. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> group therapy for the ship. Yeah, group therapy. Okay, well, go ahead and roll like, a diplomacy <laughs> check for me. R roll to pro. Roll to the see prophecy you, for group therapy. Yeah, to see if you can cheer up Grok. <laughs> I bluff because I really honest, because he really honestly doesn't care. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what do you okay, what do you say to him though? There, there, it'll be fine. We'll we'll get through this, you know, but he doesn't he's like, why am I actually doing this? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I don't care. <laughs> so, he doesn't yeah. believe what he's saying. You're actually able to convince him that, yeah, that everything is going to be okay, and that his decision to come aboard this ship was the correct one, even though he had no decision. He just thinks he does. Hey. You're able to convince him that he did have a decision to come aboard she. this ship. She. He. 
It's a, it's a half orc. It looks the same. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> how racist of you! <laughs> yes, I, I know. <laughs> Yeah, so she, you're able to convince her that everything's going to be okay and that there will be grog at some point. Even if we have to make our own. <laughs> <laughs> He'll, have He'll have to ship to do it. <laughs> Alright, so it's about midnight at this point or so. Okay. Everybody's getting pretty tired because they were work strenuous today. Um, go ahead and do a... Uh, perception check for me. Okay, so now we get to the good stuff. I have no clue what's going on. Nor <laughs> does James. I, I do. But I other people might. Was, <laughs> was that 27 your perception, Taylor? Yep, okay. Alright, so... Everyone, especially yeah, James, Arson, Callisto, you don't really know anything that's going on. You've actually more or less passed out for the night almost. Arson or Anza, you're actually such a light sleeper that you hear Cog actually creeping up the stairs to go up aboard, up above the ship. Mm. Do you follow him? What do you do? Do you do anything else beforehand? Do you wake anyone else to come with you? I have dark vision. If that helps. <laughs> so you wake up Callisto Yay! and Arson. So you go over and wake them up and you, you stir them up and you tell them that something's going on. I would take it since we can't hear you. <laughs> um, and everybody... Everybody but James. You leave James on a field by trip. Himself. And like all of my characters in D&D, &D, never failed to fall asleep. Because <laughs> you never fail to fall asleep, part. except now you do. Exactly. <laughs> well, you're not in our inner group anymore. You have to earn that right now. <laughs> yeah. You killed all of my crew members. Oh, I don't want to be You got there. yourself killed! <laughs> Unwittingly. We didn't do it when it was us get killed or kill your crew. We didn't know you were there. I would probably the thing is, you you got to push for for James acceptance, <laughs> or not acceptance, uh, his his trust. loyalty. Trust. Yeah, yeah. Those words. Like yeah, you could say that. All right, so you're you're able to see him go actually up the stairs, but at this point, you don't know where he's at from there. Just pretend you can't see that. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Can we? Try and sneak over to this door. I'll keep guard duty by the stairs to see if uh, okay. Cog comes up. Sneak over, see I'll, if anything. I'll be like right here pretending to maybe get seasick or something. Alright, so if you're going to try to sneak over there, do a stealth check for me. Oh, it would have been worse. <laughs> oh, you're patting Callisto <laughs> on the back, Taylor. I'm making fake oh. hurl sounds. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. <laughs> All right, so you're you're able to make it to about here before you okay. actually step on. I guess where there was what? a sword cut into the board, and it actually kind of creaks. What? And roll, roll a d20 for me. Right, so it wow. creaks, but they kind of just think that it's the sounds of the ship. Yes. All right. They're not used to the ship after all, so. Exactly. It's yeah. all these weird creaking noises. <laughs> all right, do a, okay, what do you do from there? You're actually, you're able to make it up to the door. The door okay. is completely shut and sealed. You can hear can voices I... on the other side, but you can't, but can Take you out. that one? I mean, could I try and listen? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Perception. That's without listening too hard. You can't hear anything. Yeah. Twenty-one. All right. So you're Man. you're able to overhear just kind of the the mumble, and you hear something about port peril, and you hear something about the slithering coast and squibs. Those are kind of about the only 
words you can really make out. Okay. Can I listen harder? <laughs> <laughs> I, Take 20. <laughs> I, about this time. Um, oh, I should probably move away from the source. <laughs> oh, well, too late. <laughs> yeah, they actually, they hear Callisto doing her retching and... <laughs> Thanks, Callisto. <laughs> um, all right, do a do a reflex no, can... check for me, Arson. Can I do a quick disguise check to turn green? <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything if to disguise you want yourself to? with? <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so no, you don't turn green. You turn a more shade of green. Or more shade of blue. <laughs> that, 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 that's more blue. Uh, that, that's undying. You C blush. Color. Sorry. Yeah. That's totally different. Color. <laughs> All right, and... I don't know anything about it. And, and Arson, so. you, uh, you, can, you jump out. When they swing open the door, you're able to jump out from behind the door... But it kind of catches you on your foot, and you actually land right back here. You were attempting, uh, you were attempting to make it here, so you were hidden. But I'm not hidden. No. But the good no. thing, it's Cog that's walking out the door. Okay, so. And he doesn't notice. Work. Yeah, he actually is looking this way at the at this point, and yells over, "What's going on over there?" Cog not sitting well. <laughs> Bluff check. To see if you can actually get away with that. I mean, it, it's, it's dark and it's too damn old crab. <laughs> right, that, so, is, that is true. Yeah, so it, it's kind of dark, and you're able to kind of film that. Like, oh god, I had the crab too. He's kind of thinking. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I feel okay now. He's like, uh, well, take that back below deck. Go get a bucket, and you too. <laughs> And as he turns around and he sees Arson, he's like, what's going on? Uh, okay. Time for epic, epic bluff. Come on, this time, let it work. Um, well, you see, I was actually going to go get a bucket for Callisto. Uh, I, I figured that no one would appreciate this, especially if they were sticking their head out <laughs> below decks. Um, <laughs> And, uh, but I couldn't find one. I don't know where they were. The best way to earn someone's appreciation is to give them a <laughs> bucket like <laughs> Buddy Vomit. Right. Alright, do a bluff check for me. I would like to use, um, Your silver always tongue. for, yeah, Silver Tongue. Uh, so plus five to whatever the heck I, oh, that's I right. do. Oh, Oh, I could have used my singing performance. Oh, so sorry. that's a 19, 19, not a 14. He's like, uh, there, there's, he's kind of looking at you and, like, well... Yeah, I can kind of believe that, but there's a bucket right next to your foot. Are what? You, are really? you blind? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why does this happen it, all the time? If you look, there actually is a bucket next to you. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> he's, he's just kind of like, and you're, a, a... you're a rigger. Um, okay, yeah. Come on, don't tell me that doesn't <laughs> happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, uh, yeah, what? Get back below deck before I have to tell the captain you were oh, up here, yeah. and take that other one with you. All right, well, I'm gonna pick up the bucket for realisticness. And then hold on to it. Yeah. And hand it to Callisto, <laughs> and we go. Right, so we're consistent. Back down. <laughs> yeah. So Anza, you kind of lead Callisto back down the stairs, kind of bracing her up and rubbing her back. Um, All those you are sick things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Arson, you follow her down, and you've got the bucket and. You guys are kind of playing it off that she really is sick. And uh, Anza's less annoyed than oh. usual. <laughs> More Slightly annoyed. less annoyed. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> the plan worked. Does James wake up from any of this? Or is oh. he still sleeping? No, because you're, you're below deck. You wouldn't be able to actually hear him. Oh, that's right. All right. quiet, like. Peacefully snoring. Yes. Okay. You guys, you guys make it back down below deck. I mean, at this point, it's probably like one in the morning or so, and you know that the, the bell goes off at first light. 
Okay. I go to sleep. <laughs> Going to bed. Good. Way ahead of you. I taper off the violence, retching sounds to just a dull bleh, and then go to sleep. Okay. Points for realism. <laughs> All right, so the the night kind of passes, and you hear the bell go off in the morning, signaling everybody's time to get up for the day. So do we head straight upstairs? Yep. Uh, okay. Putting my shirt on as we go, because I'm not taking the chance of last of yesterday. Eyes <laughs> bucket wonders if she should continue to pretend to be sick, <laughs> but. I don't really feel like going to school today. Mm. <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> I don't feel like swabbing the deck today. I just need a no. mental health day. Just need a free day. <laughs> Play hockey. Play some video games. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Roll some dice by myself against the wall. Roll some dice, right? <laughs> yep. Yay, Play one volunteer again. <laughs> All right. All right, so you kind of notice that this day, everybody's actually on top of the deck. As far as... <laughs> One Whoa. second. Whoa. I heard that. What happened? Something broke? Yeah, I heard that. I thought it was a sound effect. And I was like, oh, that was pretty good. And I looked <laughs> at the sky. And I'm like, oh. That's not good. Well, hey, this makes up for any technical difficulties we could potentially have. Yeah, this, this is, is our technical difficulties, except yeah, it was counts. real life yeah. difficulties. Real life actual difficulties. Right, now we gotta. We should probably do that more often, just set up artificial voice. difficulties. So when things actually go wrong, we can pretend that things haven't gone quite as wrong as. Right, exactly. It's just be like, well, something's already bad happened, so nothing possibly can bad happen again. My English went down. <laughs> Minus two points. I don't know why. Apply the manga. But anyways. Yeah. We're not having any technical difficulties. We're having real life difficulties. That's true. Now we have, we have our own little official business going now. Yeah. Is that what was that? Oh, was that the little Aw. Oh, that sucks. Mm. Oh well. <sighs> Aww. Tonight's D and D session is sponsored by Mo Crap Bear. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know I still have a couple of this left. I'm just I don't know. I don't know I'm, how you did not drink all of that immediately. I'm i I'm trying my best to savor it because I don't know. I'm just like savoring these things. I don't want I want it to last as much as I yeah. possibly can. And make you don't it work. want it to be gone. Right. That's my worst fear. It's like because I had a dream. That I had like a bunch of these in my fridge, and that I woke up one morning excited to drink one of these. I was like, "Yes, I'm totally gonna drink like two of them at one time." I'm gonna so do that. And then I woke up, and then my reality hit me, and I was like, "That was." You don't dream. have any. No. And I just cried myself back to sleep. Oh, poor Echo. Me. Eh. Still. Or, or, like, I would buy, like, a video game, and I'd be really excited. It'd be, like, some game that hasn't came out in, like, oh, yeah. two years or something. And I'd be like, yes, I'm going to play this. I'm going to be all, I'm, I'm going to have fun and do fun stuff. And then, I, and then I, would, I would vaguely remember, in the dream, going to my desk or shelves of many games, putting the game in there, and laying myself back to sleep. Only to be wake to wake up. I look at my shelf and I'm like, "Oh, sweet! I got new games." Wait a minute, was that? That was a dream. Damn it! <laughs> wow. Just trick myself. You have very realistic dreams. I, I know. I don't know why. They they say you have dreams and that all the faces you see are faces oh, yeah. that you've seen before or that they're yeah. familiar, but. It's yeah, because the brain isn't very good at making up new faces. Right. But, I don't know. I just feel like it just makes up random faces. Because yeah. then it seems real to me. Yeah. Meh. Do 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 do
Oh, my dog's under the bed again. Like a cat, he wants to be, or she wants to be in a little darkest place possible where it's nice, cozy, and warm. I don't know why. Oh, oh my gosh, that background. Ah, uh, my eyes. What? The link she sent had oh. bright black and white flashing background. Shouldn't be. Hey, yeah. 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 I'll go Hello! See. It's okay, it was just a glass gun got the joke. real gun. But yeah, Taylor, I don't know anything about the maze room. So I know it nothing. I haven't seen it. I haven't read it. I'll watch it sometime, I guess. Hmm. You know how I am with things. Sorry about that. Never right. forgive you. No. Okay, so where were we at? Um, we were playing checkers at the deck of the ship, and um, no, I'm kidding. I don't know. What were we doing? Uh, yeah, you guys were just made it up on top of the ship, and you kind of noticed that pretty much everybody's up here. Um, well, not everybody. I'm not kidding. Alright, and then it, nobody, Plug and Scourge really haven't come out to s start your tasks for the day, and you guys are kind of talking among yourselves. And about this time, Elbear actually walks over to Arson. Yay! And goes, he's kind of looking around, he, you can tell he's kind of confused, he's, he goes, where's friend? Where's Jake? Where's friend? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I'm the one I'm doing! Which is Owlbear! Ah! Uh, I like how you're like, our yay! friend, where, where Jake friend? Jake... ...didn't make it through the battle. Jake didn't make it? No. What would that mean? He's dead. He's not coming back. Who killed Jake? He killed them. Was it him? And he looks over at James. No, no. It wasn't him. It was... But, but him was part of the other crew. Him did it. Him did he it. He didn't... No, he didn't die fighting the other crew. It was someone on our crew that did it. What is his problem? I say in character. No, him did it. Him did it. Him threatened me. Him did it. No, no. It's it's alright, Owlbear. It's, it's alright. I say to um, James, um, Jake was Albert's friend, best friend. No, Arson, best uh, friend. Gosh, close friend. <laughs> I correct myself. <laughs> Jake befriended him. Why? Yes. Because he's a very sweet person. Jake, friend. You, you heard mm. Jake. I know Jake. You know he was very close. Yes. So, you Jake friend? In a sense. And then he just stops and just walks away. Da da da! So, Gabriel's kind of like, so that make James friend? He looks at Arson kind of for confirmation. Arson just shrugs. He has no clue at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, Okay. We're not sure yet. We Poor Albert. He's we'll so see. But Albert had news for Jake. Albert overheard oh, Scourge and Plug. What news. did they say? Albert, no. Albert, we not going to port. Hmm? We should have sent Albert to to report to us. Why did we even think about sneaking? We just yeah. need to have him sneak everywhere because no one will ever suspect him. Mm -hmm. That was part of Jake's plan. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, it, we 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 go we go, we not go to port. I think we go to to sh to slave ship. We he said something about problems if we go to port with you guys because we picked you up in that port. Um, what? 
Don't know. I know no port. Albert? Yes? Master Plug killed Jake. Plug killed Jake? Plug killed Jake. But Plug Master. My Master killed Jake. Bad Master. Bad Master. No dinner for you. Sorry. And then James, that was not James, a character at all. <laughs> uh, James turns around and he's like, Plug, the man with the scars. Yeah. Yes. Arson nods. Kind of look at him suspiciously, like, What are you what doing? Are you doing eavesdropping? Stop listening in on our conversations. <laughs> but, but, Plug Master, Albert can't hurt Plug. It's all right. We have a plan, especially with the information that you gave us. Thank you, Albert. Yeah, I mean, about this time, Sanders been kind of listening in, and everyone's eavesdropping today. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a small ship. Yeah, you everybody, fair, it's a everybody. Ship. It's a small. And we're the, small probably the most world. interesting thing that isn't deadly. So <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everybody, do a. Uh... Do a stealth check for me. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Because you kind of see everybody kind of gathering around you. Me. Well, um... <laughs> I have nothing to hide. I just want to say that I have nothing to hide. AK, we're not stealthy at all. I just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong we're good time. good bluffers. But we're yeah, not. I'm, I'm good right. for bluff. Not, not, for, not for the sneak. <laughs> yeah, so kind of... Right. And Cog is kind of overhearing what's going on, or kind oh, of shoot. what's oh. going on, and oh, hold on, I'm distorting Anza. I need to fix her token. Okay, so he he can kind of make out Air Barrel kind of causing a fuss because Jake's not there. He doesn't really know what else is going on besides that. But Rosie, he goes. Was was Air Bear talking about not going to port? Kind of says in a, a hushed tone with everybody. Arson's gonna nod. At this point, he's like, maybe we shouldn't keep talking about this. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. It's not safe, looking over shoulders. <laughs> uh, and Rosie kind of looks back at Coggy like, Ugh, I could take that man. Ain't no reason to be feared of him. Be my guest. He's a spy for Plug. Don't know do why. What? Do what? Pretty sure he's he's spying for Plug now. Mm-hmm. He's had a lot of late night meetings mm -hmm. with Master Plug. Then that would explain what I heard last night. What'd you hear? You hear? <laughs> Everyone, give us all your gossip. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. I yeah, I don't think we're going back to port, because I think Plug is taking this ship for himself. I think he wants, I to, he wants to, to be the captain. I whisper, Albert just told us that he's going to sell us to a slave ship. No, 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 no. No. I, I kind of overheard that part, too, from Albert. He's not exactly silent. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they're not. No, they didn't want to go back to port because it would cause a scene if you guys showed back up there. Plus, this is that's, true. That's is where we're supposed true. to take the ship to scavenge it. And if they take it back there, the captain will be there. And as scary as they are, they still they still fear the captain more. Mm -hmm. However, I do know that we're not going to the port. And about this time, Croup butts in. Yeah, I know where we're going. I was up there drinking last night. They thought I was. Why was sleep. everyone. Like, everyone <laughs> thought was asleep was apparently <laughs> upstairs. So, how did we so, not notice anyone? It was you really didn't dark. Look around. <laughs> so, some random old guys. Hey, I, come I up. did a perception check. Some old yeah, guys are going to come up yeah. and just like. Yeah, Croup is fish guts. Go off topic. Back in '94, I was stationed in Normandy or something like that. And just like the better question is, he was up there drinking. Where did he get the rum? That is a very good question. 
He's like, I get my rum where I get my rum. I don't have to tell you. Just don't <laughs> don't expect very much taste in our food for a while. He took all the delicious stuff. In it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he no, making no, we're, we're going. We're actually headed to the Slithering Coast. Okay, I don't know much about the Slithering Coast. Right. We were just there. We were? No. Weren't we? Actually, we'll flip over here, because this yeah, is... We have a map. Yeah. We were right around here. Yeah, we yeah, were. We were at you the were, Slithering Coast. You were at the Slithering Coast, but you weren't... You just like, kind of made the outskirts of the Slithering Coast, pretty much. Weren't we, like, right here? When we, we were Slithering Coast. Yeah. And you were here. Yeah. So when you're... Port Farrell is all the way over here. Yes. That's where, where your ship's right supposed to be going. You're yeah. right about here. Let me move these other lines out of the way. Oh, yes. That's where the epic crab battle of 08 took place. Yes. Anza says, why to the Slytherin coast? Or why there? I keep yeah. hearing Slytherin. Yes. <laughs> It's southern. Well, I boys, my to keys. Gryffindor. Oh my god, I was thinking the same thing. Thank you. Because the squibs there. If we're taking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? The squib is a non-magical <laughs> user in the Harry Potter universe. Yeah, yeah, a person who's born to magical parents but doesn't have any magic. Oh my god, really? <laughs> he says yes. He goes because the squib is there. What's what the, the heck squib? is a squib? <laughs> the squib. You know how you have those pe places that will scavenge ships? Yes. The squib actually changes the ship. Into? To make it not look like it's this man's promise anymore. Yes, it, it's run by, by, Rick, by this old Ricky Hake. Um, he actually refits the ships to make it look completely different and unrecognizable. I think uh, so he wants to run off with the ship. Yes, I think he's, he's taking the ship for himself as his plan. That sounds well, about right. He's disguising the ship. Before we do anything with the do what? master. We need to incapacitate Cog before we do anything with the master. I say it quietly, of course. Low tones. Yeah. Very, very quietly. From what I heard, Jake got pretty close to... Well, he was in a... Did you see all the blood down there? I don't think that was all Jake's. <laughs> yeah, I saw his body. It wasn't cut up nearly enough for all that blood. I guess... I'm assuming we saw the body since we got his armor yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we looted yeah. him, so we definitely yeah, yeah. saw the body. We looted him. <laughs> I hate... Croup's like, well, I mean, that's all I know. And he kind of just walks off, and he's like, and you kind of hear him as he's walking away. I'm just glad to be out of the hands of that captain. Okay. Damn it, we still should have secured him. Yeah, should have. Hail timer. <laughs> Come over here. You, you're not done with your role. Points to a dice in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right. James is gonna slowly walk away from the group. Somewhere. Oh God. Else. All right. Arsene is watching. <laughs> no, Wait, he's, gonna, he's gonna notice, but he's not gonna do anything. Are we in the middle of the, of the ship, or are we in the very bottom? You're on the top. You're sitting on the top. Oh, deck. oh we're in, oh we're in deck. Hmm. We're, just we're just standing around talking. Wait, oh, is it, uh... Oh, cry, because it's still morning. Yeah, it's still morning. Um, it's, today really hasn't started quite yet. Oh, yeah, because... What's-his-face yeah. hasn't showed up yet, right? Um... Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna watch the entrance over here and just see what they're doing. I do a From perception check for me. Yeah. Meh. Alright, so you okay. kind of notice that cog standing there. He looks more like he's, instead of just kind of standing there holding this place, he looks like he's kind of more standing guard, almost. 
Mm. I mean, he's got about three or four other pirates just kind of standing around with him to make it look like he's... Like, not being suspicious. Yeah, exactly. Being mm. really suspicious. I, uh... And you can, you can actually, you notice that the ship is kind of divided at this point. It's more than divided. It's on mostly on our side. Yeah. Because there's only three people. There's a mutiny in the, ship. In the works. There's only three people that are lo loyal to Master Plug, and one of those is Master Plug. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the other random pirates that are aboard the ship too that you don't know of. I tried yeah. to befriend them. You said the only new pirates were Jake. Yeah. Or Jake. I just uh, befriend all the people we hadn't talked to. That's what you were doing. I went right? to talk to him. He said, th oh, "Okay." Yeah. No. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you can't befriend them. Can I befriend them? No, wait, can I befriend them? Because I <laughs> and they just got through murdering your friends and want to murder you still. <laughs> How many are there? You can anti befriend them. Can we, can we know the number of them? Wait, what about eight? There's James? About eight of them or so. Wait, wouldn't James be affiliated with them because he did work with them? No, oh, these are people the... from the old ship. Yeah, these are all people from the old ship. Oh. None of your friends are here. All of your friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's that just cruel. Mean. Right. No, there's a kiss book that says yes. all of your friends are dead. Yes, out there. <laughs> it's a dinosaur. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> you kind of thank you, thank you. All right, <laughs> all right back on track. Sorry. All right, so you guys kind of notice there's not really much going on, um, and Plug and Scourge actually make their way out on deck. He goes. We got tasks to do today. We got to get this ship in shape to make it to Port Peril. You can kind of tell he's dragging his words at the end of it. He's like, "All right, so for today, he looks over it. All the swabs. Yeah, we sense motive. Sense motive. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not really sense motive because you know what's going on already, but... Well, can we... Yeah, that's player. Uh, sense motive on the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been told by Croup that you're not going to Port Peril. Well, can we double check? Yeah, yes. Yeah, confirm. That's why I said yes. Double check. Uh -huh. Aha. Anybody else? One second. Um, no, I'm good. I win. <laughs> mm. All right. So Anza and Callisto, you're able to tell that his port peril doesn't seem exactly real. We exchange glances. <laughs> Suspicious glances. <laughs> Suspiciously. We have bonded over the guard duty last night. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone bonded over guard duty last night. <laughs> Except All right. Which means you guys bonded. <laughs> Okay, wow, a good distraction. <laughs> All right, so here he go, and then he's like, well, let's get to these duties today. The swabs, ah, the ropes look like they're in good order today. Heck yeah! Okay, what else could we do? What else could we do? I'm just kind of looking around, and really wish they had these things and better things. I kind of want to say, sir, what about the blood in the captain's quarters? <laughs> but, no, no. What, what about all that blood below deck? <laughs> Can we clean that up, maybe? Can we have a mop? <laughs> no, actually, he looks over and he goes, hmm. I guess these, these bilges need cleaned out more than the ones we had before. Get down there and clean them. Thank you. So we are cleaning the blood. Had the rig and over he looks over at Ars and he's like, "Well, you put those lines. That's that's some damn good work, boy. I think we Arson need we need to up up we need to do the upper rigging now." <laughs> and then he all right. And then Anza, like oh, I loved my feast last night. Oh, what can we do? 
for today. But it get all nice. I love the feast last night. Oh, the gourmet was fabulous. I thought that was just for Master Plug, or is it for everybody? Yeah, Isn't that Master plug Plug? Is, yeah, it's Plug that's telling everybody. No. The food that I had made specifically for me was delicious! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was still cock. Okay. You didn't get no. any! <laughs> nah, and she goes, ah, Another feast would just be wasting our provisions at this point. We need more provisions. Start catching some fish. Make me more food. Commune with the crabs! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, so I need for Taylor either a fish. profession fisherman or a survival check. For the rigor, I need a climb check. Okay. And for the Schwabs, I'm going to need a strength check. You've been in death. I'm, I'm still not so good. good at the climbing. I'm, I'm passable at climbing, I guess. So. Not so good at the strength tasks. Speaking of strength. <laughs> and then everybody also do a constitution check, too. Again, not good with the constitution. Oh, really not good with the constitution? <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm tired. You vomit uncontrollably. <laughs> you had some of you that fall asleep on your feet. <laughs> you die of hysteria. All right, so... Okay. We'll start with arson. Okay, so you're actually, you're able to make it up to the, the top rigging. Okay. And actually, I, now I need a dexterity check. Nine. Wow, okay. Right, so Thanks. you're able to make it up to the top rigging, and then I guess the, the day before kind of had you far too tired to really do the rigging up here properly or at all. Hey! <laughs> So you, you're able, you've tied into the, the knots and stuff, and it, it looks horrible, but it's there. It works. It doesn't yeah. look right, but it, it, it'll work for now. All right, as far as the build just go, James and Calista, you're both able to clean them out. I mean, the areas that James cleaned are substantially better than what Callisto did by far. You can, you can tell that James is, is definitely making his keep up and he doesn't want to be dealt with mm -hmm. um and anza you actually you're able to reel in a shark <laughs> a what <laughs> oh my gosh that was good. however <laughs> <laughs> However, it takes you pretty much most of the day, and you're exhausted by the end of it. But hey, shark. But you have shark. Shark meat. Wow. <laughs> yes, you nearly pass out from getting it almost. <laughs> shark meat. Ooh, uh -huh. Yes. All right. So after, after you catch your shark, you actually you go back down to the bed and pass out. And then proceed to pass out. <laughs> All right, and and arson. I mean, the 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 day kind of drug you far too much from what it was, and you actually follow suit with Anza. And All right, so Callisto and James, you're able to to get the bill just cleaned up, but it still wears you out, but not to the point where you're actually tired so what do you do at this point so you're tired but you're not tired <laughs> you're, not, you're not exhausted <laughs> so it's about i'd say mid-afternoon at this point uh, we can tell everybody's still just kind of aboard the top of the ship and doing their jobs i rest until dinner time I'm resting too. It's tiring work. Mm. Yes. It took all my energy just to get that one spot clean. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, James? Uh, that was me at work. I'm just going to. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to rest too. Okay. Okay. I small chat with James a little bit, get a little <laughs> bit friendly. 
not friendly, friendly, but oh, your hair so each soft. Other. <laughs> yes. Start poking him. Just like <laughs> just standing right next to him. Hi. <laughs> Poke. Do <laughs> he's, 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 he's like shoo, go away. <laughs> poke poke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so kind of everybody's down in the the bottom of the ship at this point. It's about just about before dinner, and you kind of notice everybody's kind of making their way down here. That life aboard this new ship isn't quite what it was before. Everything's a lot harder and rougher, especially since you have no kind of entertainment. I mean, there's only one person that you kind of notice missing from the group, which was Cog. Oh, as usual. I thought I was about to be sad, and you were about to say Jake. I'm like, yeah. I start hurting our... Shed, I, our son sheds a single tear. <laughs> I start hurting our group together, you know, Sandra, Rosie, Albert. All our Rosie. allies. Okay. Yeah, so, and all of our group together, even James. Okay. I like how you pause there, even it's like Maybe. James. Maybe. He just kind of appeared there, and we put up with him, so... <laughs> He's kind of like that. Just that guy is sort. You sort of know, but like, not really. He's, he's just the kind of guy to just like lean back and just like <laughs> with his, yeah, one leg or one foot against the wall. Just like I don't even care anymore. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. of us are like rebel. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you guys do? Okay. Uh, you were doing something about gathering the group. I was just gathering the group together so we can eat and sit and talk together without okay. being suspicious about Wanting. other people. <laughs> We have two groups. We have the pro us and not us. <laughs> yes, us and not us. <laughs> the G. There's the jocks. There's the nerds. <laughs> We're the nerds. There's the, there's the Glee Cub. All right. So you guys, the Pokemon I mean, team. What do you do? So we need to. Slug is obviously stronger than us. We need to incapacitate Cog and weaken the masters. And Sandra kind of looks over and says, how are we supposed to do that? I mean, I've not fought with Cog, but the only person in here I think could probably take him out would be Albear. And she looks over at, at Anza. He's like, you saw him shoot. I mean, could you take him? I was thinking more cast iron skillet to the back of the head. I like that plan. And we, it's it. Anza, you should save your poison for weakening the captains. The captain in the first hand. Just give them a little bit of food poisoning so they're not at their top peak. Yeah. Alright, so you, you kind of, he had trouble hitting Just you. Just warn us what not to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Make a special dinner out of a special crab you caught. It's like a little flag that says not poison. Shark. Well, we still have leftover crab. Put a little <laughs> yeah. bit of tainted crab in there. Like, but but how are we supposed to do this? I mean, it, I mean, numbers wise, we're about even, but I don't see how it's supposed to go down. I mean, who's gonna lead us? Who's gonna do this? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I, I'm like, Arson would volunteer, but I myself have no idea what I'm doing. So. <laughs> Aww. We're a democracy. Oh! Yes, it would have been Jake. <laughs> right, Wait, we need I to tell something. people what's actually like in the chat that we're responding yes. to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, we're a democracy. James, James cuts in and goes. You like to elect gonna... a leader, perhaps? There's no way you're gonna take down that man. How do you know? You just got here. You don't know what any of us can do. Exactly. Besides the fact that you fought some of us. Well, actually, me. no, you didn't fight us. You would have been dead. <laughs> no. Yes. No, I just woke up from a nap. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not, not dead I yet. I've seen that man's scars. I know That where were is. mostly from Jake. Exactly. I taught him to fight like that. If... If he was, uh, if he defeated Jake, there's no way a single man could take him. What Not do you want to bet he got ganged up is... on, though? Was what Jake is... fighting by himself? Yeah, he, he ran off by himself. I agree with Anza. We are not a single man. It's not going to be one person against... It's going to be an organized group versus people who are, you know, 
not, they don't know that, what we're going to do and when. Plus, that's also what the food poisoning is for. Albert takes them. Albert takes them all. They hurt friend. Yes, he will get to fight. We swear. We'll stick Albert on the miscellaneous support. Yeah, it's just like, okay, and you deal with that group over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Albert, Albert won't plug. Albert avenge Jake. Oh. We'll tenderize him for you. <laughs> You'll have the last smash. Albert smash. Hulk smash. Yeah. <laughs> Albert smash. Albert smash. <laughs> Albert likes smash. Okay, so... How do you even plan to get to Plug? You see how many men he has. I counted about five to seven men. Just guarding one door. Who knows how many are inside with him? Albert destruction? Albert destruction. <laughs> Alternatively, uh, Callisto and I both know magic. We can create some kind of distraction. Believe me, yes. I can create a distraction. And, and I'm just sitting there flipping a seashell, turning it into a coin, and then back into a seashell, to a coin, and then back into a seashell. Using just for fun. Digitations. Yes. <laughs> and can use... <laughs> can use <laughs> Can we? Uh, yeah, we can use math, not like James, apparently. <laughs> you want to educate him? Anza just said, uh, we know how many were brought onto the ship. We can use math, you uneducated worm. <laughs> did, wait, did you just call me a worm? Anza did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you troglodyte. <laughs> You're soft and squishy like worms, says Anza. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody soft and squishy to her. She has scales. <laughs> First is soft and fluffy hair, and now with soft and squishy worms. Where's this going? <laughs> too many, too many animal metaphors. <laughs> Good lady. But now I just pictured a worm with an afro. Okay, about, about this Excuse time, you actually hear Cog making his way downstairs. Hold on a second, Sadie. Echo dropped the gauze. Hello? Hello! Okay, good. Oh, that was weird. Hold on. Hello? Hello. Oh. Uh, hey, it's Captain and Crash. Anyways, continue. Oh, okay, oh, everybody, oh. you're there. Audience, audience, um, Taylor isn't talking because her roommate's boyfriend is over and she feels awkward, so. Hey. She's talking in the Skype chat, and we're doing our best to relay what she says. So if we randomly start laughing, is probably because of something she typed. Yeah. <laughs> Even though that's I, uh, usually... Yeah. My dog wants to say hi. Say hi. No, puppy! Alright, so Cog make... You actually hear Cog making his dog. way back downstairs. So, anyway. get the okay. food poisoning stuff, and then we'll go from there. Let us know when you're ready with that, and we'll see what the plan is. Yes. The plan that we don't really have. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys just kind of finish out your meals and you go to sleep for the night. And then the, the next day pretty much rolls around. You do your same jobs that you were issued the day before because none of them were up to par for him. Well, that's rude. So, strength checks, climb check. And constitution checks. Yeah. And a dex check for me, right? Yes. Wait. So basically what? re-roll what we Wait. did. Everybody but Anza, because we don't need any more shark. You have enough. You have enough shark. <laughs> You'll be cooking it today. Okay. So a cooking check or a uh, intelligence check. So if you wanted to try your hand at catching something eh. poisonous. That was just wet. Can you catch a blue ring octopus? <laughs> Go back. Or a puffer fish? Toss a net out and check it in a couple in a few hours. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so a strength check... A dex check and a what check? No, no. No. Just, you just do a strength. You and do then strength plus, and con. Yeah. Oh, I need to okay. do a con. Strength and con. Strength con. is for the activity. Constitution is how tired we are afterwards. That makes sense. Dexterity and, and climb are for me to do things. <laughs> this is delicious shark. <laughs> shark fin soup. That actually made me really sad. Yes. So you were able to make fantastic shark. <laughs> And 
Constitution check as well, Hanza. <laughs> How tired are you after wrestling that shark to the ground? <laughs> and butchering it <laughs> to All pieces. Right, so, Arson, again, you're able to climb up there, but you still just do a piss poor job actually Hi. tying the ropes. <laughs> Rude. Actually, you had no climb check. I, I did one. It's mm. right above my. Yeah, see? My dex check up there. It's right above it. I got a 15 for my climb, 12 for my dexterity, and then yeah, 14 for concentrate. Or not constitution. Oh, not yeah, never mind. I was looking at the wrong one. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's cool. Yeah, no, all right. Yeah, you're, so you're able to climb up there, and you still do a piss poor time job, or a job tying the actual ropes themselves. Very it's good. better this time, because you've improved since yesterday. Okay. I, I was, like, kind of fixing the stuff that I messed yeah. up yesterday, I exactly, guess. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, this time the, the villages are sparkling clean from the two people. And, however, James, this, this double-duty work has tired you out completely for the day. And everybody else is actually good. That's good. And, Anza, you're able to, to take the shark that you did, and you can... Pretty much, you turn it into shark tartare for everyone, and everyone has a nice little lunch and feast for the day. Lunch and little cakes. Uh, yeah, and then you're, it's like, at this point, cooking has become second nature to you, so you don't even really feel fatigued from it at all. <laughs> Somehow there is rum. <laughs> <laughs> It materializes. <laughs> and part of it is it's a lot it's gotten a lot easier for you because Croup's actually having to help you now since he's not drunk the entire time. <gasps> That's true. He doesn't have any access to rum really. <laughs> he's got some, but he doesn't him. have anywhere near as much as he used to. So he's not drunk all the time. So All right. So I mean at that point the day just kind of goes by without really anything happening. And then... Anza, are you letting some crab spoil for the plan? Hide some crab! Uh, <laughs> She's like, oh yeah! At this point, she just has like a crab hat. <laughs> like a little chef hat. Made crab. She keeps stuffing crabs all around the kitchen, and right. the fish guess... goes is like, what's that smell? It it's smells like moss really of... bad! <laughs> it's like he moss keeps sniffing himself just... like... <laughs> Me? <laughs> oh, I I had a I had an idea. Okay. I'll tell you guys later. Oh, over, over dinner. dinner. <laughs> over you know dinner. Yes, that thing where people eat. All right. So you guys try to put your plan into action today, or um, actually, before we put a plan into action, uh, I would like. Well, I suppose we should like, finalize what the group is doing, so I guess I call them all over. Okay. So, I mean, you guys have finished out your thing. You're kind of on top of the board of the ship right now, eating and just being merry. Okay. Not too merry to arouse too much yeah. attention that you're actually happy. Well, the first step would be to poison the captain, so that's got to be at least tomorrow. And then once they start feeling sick, I think we should put the plan into action. There's also something I can do, actually. Um, neither, no one else besides us on the ship know magic, right? As far as we know. Well, besides, yeah, no one outside our group. I'm going to ask Sandra weapon. and everyone. Sandra is a cleric. So Sandra's a cleric, knows. so she knows, but I mean, like, anyone on Plug's side. No magic. They've seen me wave my hands a little bit, but I don't they think they actually know how to do any magic. Okay. Because that's, that's what I need to know. Because if I summon if I summon a diseased rat, I could get him sick. Don't forget those little those wizards that were that had the quarter staffs. Oh, no, that they died were... that were actually on the opposite team. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys if you guys get problem. plug outside, I could do the hydro hydraulic push to get him over the side. If that actually works so, this time. Yeah, if you just keep that in mind, you know, I have that in my back pocket. Just like But yeah, um anyway, on the diseased rat plan. Um I um all it would take is um is one good bite from the rat and it and the uh brain. Brain. 
and he would and he'd be sick in a day or two um mm. but we'd have to do it in advance that's why i'm wondering if they would be able to know if it was a summoned rat maybe we should do that as a backup plan okay if something goes horribly wrong then we'll see if we can with the food poisoning yeah okay if the food poisoning doesn't work then I'm really hoping the food poisoning actually works and it's not just like they're kind of sick, you know. Please fail a constitution check. <laughs> yeah, I hope it actually has some negative okay. stat. All right. Wise. So I believe we should put that plan into action tomorrow then with the food poisoning. If the, if the food poisoning is indeed ready. If it's ready, if it's fermented enough. Has the crab aged? Uh, age to perfection. <laughs> it's like, Does it have a nice rind on it? It's like old wine. <laughs> old oh nasty God. wine. We <laughs> right. killed Taylor. We <laughs> <I> killed her. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys kind of finalize your plans with everybody, so everybody knows what's going on. And Albert and uh, I guess Grook, maybe, will attack the miscellaneous guys, and we'll head directly for or the men for the captain. And we don't. We we need to make sure that we um, have a plan for Scourge as well. Yeah. Well, he's with. Master plug, so. Yeah, so we're gonna have to attack him on mass with our. Yeah, it's I, gonna be us four and Sander and Rosie. And yeah. Sander will probably be one of the more helpful, considering she's a cleric. No bots. Yes. We're gonna just just prepare a whole bunch of cure something, <laughs> cure <laughs> wounds, yes. whatever whatever ones you got. Okay. Yes. You guys do anything else before we uh, no. rest up and chat and be friendly ish you know not too friendly or loud but not too loud <laughs> just friendly yeah. rest up for our make it not so obvious we're plotting <laughs> okay. Carson goes to bed early <laughs> <laughs> all right so you guys kind of you get into bed early this night and um And about halfway through the night, you're kind of awoken by the, the ship tossing and turning. Oh, not a another little, storm. A little bit more than it typically has. It's probably about 4, 5, maybe 6 o'clock in the morning, somewhere right in that time, where day's, daybreak should just kind of coming over the thing. Okay. And at this Those point, should... yeah, at this Those... point, you hear, all hands on deck, there's a storm coming in. Hey, I guess we should get up on deck and help with the storm. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, we're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah. We need a ship to take over. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to go down with the ship. That's not on the agenda. Alright, so Maybe pretty much at this, at this point, everybody's on the top deck. Even Plug and Scourge? Plug, Scourge, everybody. Anyone everybody's that has a hand. Her body. Exactly. I, he he looks over. Plug looks over at the the group and he goes, "The riggings. We got to make sure the riggings stay in check." He goes, okay. "Arson, like you. you're our rigger. Get up there to the lookout." That upper, right. And then he he looks over. He's like, "That upper rigging work still needs some work to it by far." And he goes, "James, you said you were a skilled sailor. Get up there." I hope and you then, have the profession sailor. <laughs> um, he's like, I know you're the cook, uh -huh. Anza, but get over there and man that cell. And <laughs> Anza, make it <laughs> And He's like, Callisto, we had you try to tie ropes once before. That ended very, very badly. It was a bad day, sir. Do you think you can do it? Sir, yes, sir. All right, get over there and keep those ropes tied up so that everything stays in order. Watch her fail that this one. Skill is that uh, profession sailor? All right, Anza, yours is gonna be 
Refresh in Sailor or Strength check. Um. Okay, so that I guess that's the Sailor check. Uh. Do you actually put points in Sailor? Um. Let's see. I finally Arson. put points in like. Perception and climate swim and stuff. Arson, yours is a climb check. Yeah! I'm All a right. monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and also a perception check. Not so good at the seeing. <laughs> as usual when I actually need it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and... James, give me a climb check, followed by either a profession sailor or a dexterity check. Mm -hmm. Climb check. Two, and dexterity check. Uh, plus, whoa. Whoa. Hello. Hello, Hello. robot echo. <laughs> My browser's freezing up. Can I type anything? Oh, there we go. That's weird. 20. Nice, okay. And. Rope work, I need a. Profession, profession sailor? sailor or a dexterity. Well, that's that's that. Dang it! <laughs> Dude! No one's gonna ever trust you with ropes. Right. I know. I, I, I'm a skilled sailor. I promise. Just not with ropes, say. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anza. So you're you're able to to keep the cell straight and just pretty much keep it all in order without anything getting flipped or ripped or any Otherwise. major problems going down. All right, and James, you're actually able to to get up there as much faster than they've seen anyone else do in quite a while, and actually able to fix all the Mistakes that Arson had put into the top rigging. Hey, you're making me look bad. <laughs> um, Callisto, you're able to tie some of the ropes, and you actually end up tying your hand in one of them and have to undo it and <laughs> do it, keep doing it again. So it, it, you can kind of tell that everybody's... We capsize and it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then... Um, Arson, you're able to make it up there. It's just like the fastest you've ever climbed up the, the crow's nest. And, however, you look out and you're, you're, you're looking out. You're seeing what's going on. I'm looking straight into the sunrise, aren't I? <laughs> no, it's a storm going on. Well. Uh, but it's, just, it's the, pretty much this storm is so bad that you can't really see anything in front of you either way. So there's just, there's just no possibility of you seeing anything going on. Okay. Um. And it's kind of this ship is getting tossed and turned, and this goes out through pretty much most of the day. It's getting to a probably about six or seven o'clock right now, at night. So you've been fighting this thing for almost twelve hours. Wow. You've had your little breaks throughout the day, so you're exhausted. But it. It just seems like the storm keeps getting worse and worse the further you go into it. Where the heck is the eye of the storm? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Somebody detect magic. Okay, I, I'll detect magic, I guess, as a last resort. <laughs> you, you don't just no magic. No magic. This is a okay. storm. This is all nature. Nature! Stop it! Damn, nature, you scary. <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good thought, though, Taylor. Points for your paranoia. <laughs> James activates. <laughs> Echo location. Echo <laughs> location. All right. All right. And, and about this time, you actually, you kind of notice everybody's kind of on their breaks right now. You're still fighting the storm. But you've noticed that Everyone that's been up here with you that's been fighting this has gone below deck. It's just you guys up here now, kind of holding out. The storm has not gotten worse yet at this point, but it's still getting bad. And you actually start noticing kind of shapes out into the 
area, like out around the ship, that you're not sure really what's going on. Because the last time you saw any sort of distance at all, it was just open ocean. Okay, so... Can I uh, say, hey guys, in Aquin, the native language of my people. Aquin? The water language. I just make gurgling sounds. I guess that's what Into it the is. water. <laughs> Sound like a whirlpool. Like a whirlpool, I guess. I don't know. You know like, when you have a straw and you blow bubbles into your water? That's what it drink? sounds like. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I like that description. <laughs> can I? Would it help? <laughs> um, you can. It... But does it help? That's the... Um, you're able to hear in Aquarian kind of chatter going on. So you you know something's out there. It's not re really responding I'd to like you. I'd like to detect magic again. You still detect nothing magical. Okay, so... I don't want to jump in the water, guys. Guys, I kind of want to jump in the water. Oh, do it. Okay. <laughs> or do it. I mean, about this time, the, the, the storm kind of picks up quite a bit, and it's it's worse than it's been most of the night. And actually... I yell into the other, hey, I can kind of understand you. What'd you say? Speak up. <laughs> kind of sounds like a murloc. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and... You're speaking Aquin. That's why no one can understand. <laughs> that would make so much sense. That actually would. Because <laughs> they make so much noise. They're like, that would definitely kinda... talking. You, you actually start hearing the chatter stuff now and that you can't really see in front of your face at this point, but you hear you hear in your native tongue, there's someone that can understand us here. What's going on? There's not supposed to be anyone here. Who are you? What do you want? What day is it? <laughs> and is it James Tuesday? <laughs> James Exeter and so is she drowning? Because all he hears is goggling noise. Anza runs over to the edge and listens too, because she can speak. Arsene would like to cast protection from chaos on himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on, but I, I don't know what is going on, but it sure is chaotic. <laughs> can I run a sanity check? No, oh, wait. Sanity check. It's just like, what's going on? No. The heck is even going on here? <laughs> yeah, just like, you know what? I don't I can kind of understand it. I mean, the blue little girl runs over to the side, looks like she's about to jump into the water, and is making gurgling sounds. If I were a human, I'd be <laughs> kind of questioning your sanity, too. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, at this point, Callisto and Anza, you're able to make out. Take them. We have to take them off the boat now. We get them in the water. We've got them. And at that point... Guys, get ropes on you. Tie yourself to the ship. This Grindilo right here, and that's right beside you. Grindilo, oh shoot! Attempt Wait. to trip you. Too many Harry so Potter many. references. Weren't those in Harry Potter too? <laughs> what are they called again? Grindilos. That was in Harry Potter, I swear. Alright, and he's actually able... Yeah, they were, I think. They were, yeah. I think it's mentioned in Those the were Defense the Against the Dark Art. Things. Yes, they were in the lake. Yes. All right, I think so he's actually able to trip you, Callisto. Shoot. And you actually fall overboard. Oh, well, I guess I... that's not too bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. If there was a, anyone who could have fallen in the water that wouldn't die, it'd be you. I'm stop. still talking in uh, Aquin. It's like, stop, stop. What are you doing? Like, we're taking you with us. No, you're not. Try to put one in the face. <laughs> Are you going to... Okay, then roll an attack. Uh, just a normal attack? Yeah. An arm? Uh, an arm attack. They're maybe they're trying to save us. You never know. Uh... Use your straight base attack. I'm not taking the chance. <laughs> so you'd rather stay on the ship with Master Pug? I'd rather not get drowned by these things. Is what I'd rather not have happen. James is questioning whether he's drunk or not. Anza is like, 
We're taking her with us, and you're coming too. And the one standing next to you attempts to trip you. And he's Stop able to... Stop making a very good case for yourself. <laughs> he's, he, he gets one of his tentacles out and tries to hit your foot with it. But it just kind of hits the scales on your leg and just kind of flings off to the side. All right, so you're okay. able to... Which one were you? You were kicking this one, I take it? The one that was holding onto my leg that pulled me under. No, no, they didn't pull you under. One just tripped you off the boat. Okay, the nearest one then. Okay, so you're able to hit it. Underwater. I kick something. Underwater. Yes. You kick it with skill. great ferocity, so do a confirm your crit. <laughs> Please let it confirm. <laughs> um, it's... Please let that confirm. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Does he go sailing out of the world like me? <laughs> See how much damage you do to him first. An arm attacks, and you're small or medium? I'm medium. 1d4. Plus whatever your strength modifier is. Uh, hold on a second. That's plus 2. I did 6 damage to it. Do it again. again. Oh yeah, twice damage. Uh, uh. What? I did 12 damage to it. Alright, so you're, you're actually able to... It's kick dead. this one. Like, I guess you catch it just in the right spot, and you actually split it in half when you kick it. <laughs> the both halves go flying <laughs> Yeah, they, they go the flying sunset. off into the distance where you can't see anything. 12 damage, Taylor. Plus my strength modifier. <laughs> Twice. Yes. <laughs> Twice. I was angry, okay? <laughs> Callisto right. smash! Alright, everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody go ahead and roll the Jake. Callisto Pond. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Roll initiative. No, um, Echo, did you say something? Oh, she channeled her inner Jake. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Jake's ghost is just oh. like, I'll help you out with this. Yeah. Drills up his sleeves. Uh, where is my... Oh, Sorry, yes. I didn't send that to my token. <laughs> no I sent that to you. my token. No Aha. time for you. <laughs> no! Nine. Is there a way to send it afterwards? Oh. Just click it and send it again. Wait, click it. Reroll. Yes. <laughs> At I least you didn't roll a one this time. Yeah. <laughs> Good news, guys. They're squishy. <laughs> <laughs> squishy. Sort of squishy. Sort of. Squishy. Can I shock all of them at once? Do it. Please Do get it. me out of the water first. Do I it. mean, once we get you out of the water. But no, it's it's the ocean and it's salt water. It wouldn't travel as much. Doesn't salt water conduct electricity better than regular? Taylor it should for to... small distances. Yeah, if you're able, but you you gotta realize you gotta jump off the boat to do that. Yeah, you have to touch the water. <laughs> Unless you want to be dangled like bait in front of the water. I'm gonna summon a dolphin. You then. could. <laughs> hey, this is a thing. <laughs> Do you guys want to take a little break and get food, drink? Oh yeah, before we start combat. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was gonna I'm help him prepare. Give him time to prepare it. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back in just a second. But Taylor, yes, electricity conducts better in salt water, right? Yes, I knew.